Hi, in this video um, we're going to be going over triads on the bottom strings, that is the E, A, and D strings. And these are going to be 5, 1, 3 formations. That's 5 on the bottom, 1 in the middle, and 3 on top. And when I say top, I mean highest string, so highest going in that direction, not this direction, um, wherever this is. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start with uh, the first one. Um, we're going to, for purposes of you being able to see uh, what's going on, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use we're going to use um, E major or E triad basically five one three, and E major is on the seventh fret. And please refer to your PDF diagrams for further guidance on where to put your fingers, and where they go. Um, so this is, this is um, we've got B on the bottom, we've got E in the middle, and then we've got C sharp, or I'm sorry, uh, we've got A flat or G sharp on the bottom, and there we go, that's our E major chord, remember, the middle note is what's dictating the tonic, or the root, those are kind of cool chords actually, it's one of my favorite voicings. Um, and if you fundamentally, if you move this up or down in either direction, you will get uh, you'll get a different. Uh, if you move this up one fret, you'll get an F major and then F sharp, and so on and so forth. You know how the story goes. And away we go. See you in the next version. This next triad or inversion is. Uh, is, a, is the same as the one we did before, of course. It's five, one, three. So five in the bottom, one in the middle, and three on top, except this is a minor five, one, three inversion. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep V5 in the one, and we're just going to take the three, which was this note that was on top, we're just going to move it back. That's all we're going to do. Remember, the difference between a major and a minor chord is the third getting moved back. So here it is. Same as, you know, you know your E minor down there. Same ball of wax. It's just done in a different place, and uh, it's pretty easy. So once you get these triads going, you'll understand a music a little better. You'll also have a powerful tool for creativity and coming up with your own ideas, and uh, it'll help you form a more integral map of the musical landscape so you can sort of understand things and get around um, a lot easier. And uh, I recommend uh, you submit questions and use our forums uh, to, to get the answers to your questions as well as uh, go ahead and email us and email other members and establish connections with them in our community. Um, we're all here to help and we will see you in the next triad. This next triad is a 5-1-3 diminished. That's 1 flat 3 and 5 or flat 5 one flat three in that order. So let's just go to our bass position and what I mean by bass position is the place where everything is in its natural state. And then let's go ahead and alter things. So we know our five's on the bottom, it's under our middle, and we know that our three's on the top, it's under our index.